Alright, here we've got Doodle World on the NES. Uh, this is a review copy um, provided by Nate, one of the creators of the game. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So we've got kids mode and normal mode. We're going to play in normal mode. So this is a game where you play as this little... I guess you'd call him an, an eraser, I guess. <laughs> um, it is a platformer. Uh, similar to games like, I guess, Mario and and other platformers uh, like it. Uh, this game is really unique in the fact that <laughs> all of the uh, the art here is hand-drawn. And this game is awesome looking. It's really, really neat. Um, you can hold down the B button, I believe it's the B button, to run, and then A is to jump. I love I love the hand drawn art. Um, it looks like you know some somebody would draw in school, <laughs> kind of just messing around. But you uh, you go around gathering, I believe, the like crayons to me. So you got erasers, you got pencils that you can't jump on because it'll kill you because it's a sharpened pencil, which is a nice touch. Um, I like the, the spiral bound notebook at the top. It really makes you feel like you're you're playing an interactive doodle, which is the point of the game, uh, as it is called Doodle Land. Um, so, or, uh, yeah. Um, oh no, darn it. Oh, I thought I was, I I was going to clear that pencil, but I didn't. But yeah, I, I love the art style. I love the gameplay. Music's great. I mean, this game's, um, um, this game's really awesome. Uh, the time of this review, I don't know um, how much it is. Um, I, I don't even know if it's available yet. But I do know that... Um, it's definitely worth checking out. So when it does, it does become available, um, definitely will want to check this out. I don't know. If, okay, I don't know if I've gotten as back as I can get. If it's a glitch, let's see. That's a glitch. Okay. So that one couldn't be gathered, gathered because there's a glitch trying to get. It. Okay, well, that's good to know. I'm gonna skip the bonus area for now. So those little uh, slips of paper, that's the bonus, the bonus room. I'm just trying to get through the level here. There we go. Oh, we got a boss. I love the fact it's a little eraser and a giant robot. <laughs> We're only gonna jump now. Okay. I wonder if I can. Okay, that works. Crystal Crayon Cave. Ooh, scissors. Wow. Yeah, I'm. I'm loving this game. Thumbtacks. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, it looks like after 100 cringe, you get an extra life. Well, that's cool. So yeah, the game play, it plays pretty smoothly. <laughs> uh, the art's great. The character's great. Um, definitely worth worth taking this game out, guys, when it comes out. Um, definitely great little NES game. I really could see this coming out as an actual cartridge. Um, either now or even back in the day. I think that might be the goal. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I hope it is because I'd like to see it in actual, actual cartridge. Because um, I can definitely see, you know, this game being... 
game over. <laughs> uh, I can definitely see this game being one that you know I, I, I'd pick up back in the day. Uh, my NES, definitely worth checking out, guys. So I want to thank uh, Nate for the opportunity of this game. This game's awesome. Uh, definitely recommend it. I'm gonna actually check out Kids Mode here real quick and see how that differs from normal mode. So far, I'm not seeing too much of a difference. Another glitched crayon there. So I'm wondering if it's... It could be just a change in the difficulty. Uh, uh, as opposed to a change in the mechanics. So I'm feeling maybe it might be that you get extra life and maybe 50 crayons collected. Nope, still 100. Okay. Oh, okay. So in kids mode, it looks like the uh, stages aren't as long, and the okay stages aren't as long, and the um, bosses don't take as many hits to kill. So yeah, it definitely is a a, a, a um a lessened difficulty or easier difficulty setting is what it is. That makes sense. Okay, cool. All right, so this has been uh, this has been a look at. <laughs> I love that game over screen. <laughs> so neat. Made with any S banker. That's cool. So Nate and uh, RSLI, I think. So, again, Doodle World. Doodle World on NES. Uh, again, thank you, Nate, for the re opportunity. This game's awesome. Definitely recommend it to any fan of a platformer or NES game, even if you're not. This game's awesome. So, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, as always. Till next time, take care and happy gaming.